शकोल के अबारो आमंत्रण क्रिमिनल जस्टिस प्रोग्राम देख बार जन्नो आमी सिलिस्टर शाफिल आजम प्रिंसिपल ऑफ आजम एंड कोसिलिस्टर्स एवं आमाशते आज से नमार कॉलेज बाइस्टर लीन टाउनली अकाउंट फ्रीजिंग ऑर्डर अकाउंट फॉर फीचर ऑर्डर इधर उपरे आमी बोल चिलाम अनएक्सप्लेन्ड वेल्थ ऑर्डर जेगुला � the freezing of the account is the first stage of the process. एगुलो जो दी करते होए, account के freeze करे देवा प्रथमे, वो इटे हुल्लो तादेर प्रथम काज, first stage थारा जिटे करबे, अपना account freeze करबे, अपने movement कर किसो पौष्य उठाते बार बनना। The second stage is for feature, तार पुरे तारा quarter मुझे दरखास्त करबे, उन्हें जे पौष्य आते, एक सौ जा दूसरा जा ढोक जिटे हो, वो इटे आर वनी forfeit कराओ, कारण � Unlawful conduct take us to avoid the upper jump take us to. There are two routes that the police can follow to pursue the for feature. The do we put us a do we put it are a it a under pursue got the bar by police key key pot shit a proton pot hello involves an account for feature notice being given by the police to the person affected वही व्यक्ति का से एक ता account freezing है एक ता notice police दी थे पारे okay इतने वाले अपना एक ता route okay this will explain that the money is set to be forfeited and will specify a period of time for any objection to that process एवं उन्हें अपना बोला हो बे इधर ये notice के मुद्दे जे इन्हें account के मुद्दे जे पौषा गुलाब से ये गुला अपना फॉरफीट करा होगे गुले जब दो करा होगे एवं एक ता निर्दिष्ट तारीख दवा होगे जो वो तारीख के मुद्दे एक ता जवाब दी बार जन्ना। If there is no objection, then the account, then the application will be made to the magistrate's court अपना जो दी for the account freezing order जो दी कोनो ऑब्जेक्शन जो दो ही व्यक्ति ना दे जे जे पौषा आते इटर उपरे तार मनी इतने तार पौषा एवं किबा भी शे ऊपर जन कर से इतने एक तो उत्तर ताके दी था बोले जो उत्तर ना दे ताहिले अपना वो अकाउंट फ्रीजिंग है दें ऑर्डर जेटा तारा एप्लीकेशन कर बे उस फॉर फ्यूचर बीइंग द इनेविटेबल रिजल्ट जो दी शे उत्तर ना करे ताहिले शबाबीर बाबे पुलिस कोर्टर का सिज़ फ्रीज करा हुई है अकॉन्ट फॉर फीचर ऑर्डर दवा हो मैजिस्ट्रेट्स कोर्ट में इतना क्या कौन एक ता ऑर्डर करा हो इतना क्या फॉर फीट करा जिन्ना पौष्य टाके कारण से तो ऑब्जेक्शन करे नहीं द सेकंड रूट इज होयर इट इज नॉन दैट देयर विल बी अ चैलेंज और होयर ऑब्जेक्शन इज मेड अंडर द नोटिस जेकने वो व्यक्ति एक तो ऑब्जेक्शन कर से ना हमारा ऑब्जेक्शन आते हैं इतने हमारे बोई दो पौषा इतने हमारा बोई दो पौषा ना तुम रहा हमारा अकाउंट फ्रीज करें सो अकाउंट सीज करें सो इतने हमारे बोई दो पौषा से जो दी चैलेंज करते चाहे दें डी कोर्ट विल इश्यू डायरेक्शन इन डी सेम वे दैट डी कोर्ट डाज कैश फॉर फ्यूचर प्रोसीडिंग्स तो कौन कोर्ट एक ता नॉर्मल वे थे डायरेक्शन से मुंग दीबे जे किबा बे तादर के उटे प्रोसीड करता हो बे पुलिस एवं जे जा रहे कौन तादर के एक ता डायरेक्शन कोर्ट दीबे वो ही डायरेक्शन में मुद्दे बोल बोला हो बे जे पुलिस ये रेटे करता हो बे एवं जार पौषा तारे गुला करता हो बे भी ना स्टेप बाय स्टेप डायरेक्शन गुलो कोर्ट दी बे एवं वो गुला तो कौन कोर्टर मुद्दे आपना कंटेस्टेड हो बे जे आपने जो दी कंटेस्ट करे जो आपने विन करते ना पारन पुलिस पौषा रेखे दी बे एवं जो आपने पहले पुलिस अपना पौषा फेरों दी था वे वो जब फ्रीज करार जो ऑर्डर था उठा के तो कौन तारा उड्रो को रेफल बे बंग अपना पौषा अपने तो कौन फेरों पावे खूब कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है शमस्ते केस गुलो अपना के फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग इधर ने सिचुएशन है पहले अपना के स्पेशलिस्ट लॉयर एंगेज करता की भावे डिफेंड करा जाए आपना इनस्ट्रक्शन गुलो के ठीक भावे फॉलो करे काज कर बे। I will pass to my colleague Barrister Lynn Townley to talk on human trafficking and modern slavery, please. So when we're looking at um, what forced um, or compulsory labour is, um, there is um, case law um, from England and Wales that will explain it. Um, in, in relation to what the definition is, again we're back to Article 4 of the European um, Convention. 
And there's also um, another um, international convention called the International um, Labour um, Organisation, um, which has um, essentially affirmed um, what the interpretations of Article 4 are. So compulsory labour is essentially it's all work or service um, which um, is extracted um, from a person um, which is under a uh, menace of penalty. So there's come some kind of threat um, of some kind of penalty being involved here. And the individual must not have offered themselves up for that labour um, on a voluntary basis. And um, obviously what is defined as voluntary, um, it can't be voluntary if it's under duress um, or if, for example, there's a, a vulnerability of some kind, economic um, or otherwise, or it's actually um, not um, completely um, voluntary and that the person hasn't entered into it um, or consented to it um, voluntarily because they simply cannot do that, either because of their own vulnerabilities or vulnerabilities in their situation. So to explain what this is by reference to um, case law, one, one example, um, working within, a, again, um, a family business, um, vulnerable um, individuals um, being um, cajoled or bullied or through deception, um, being recruited um, to work for a family um, once they're working extremely long hours, this is often a, a factor, so um, th there tends to be a vulnerability involved with the victims. So traffickers um, tend to, to target vulnerable um, individuals um, because it's, it's easier to get vulnerable um, individuals to be involved in these schemes for, for obvious reasons. Um, but working very long hours, um, poor, again, poor, working in poor um, conditions and um, working um, seven days a week. So there's no kind of um, breaks or days off. Whilst working, um, notable in this case, was that the individuals were constantly being subjected to violence, um, threats um, and abuse. So one of the manifestations um, of the control that is exercised um, over um, victims um, in, in situations um, where there's forced labour is that what there tends to be is that there's a deprivation of leave. So those of us that have um, jobs expect to be able to take freely um, periods of leave. So for example, um, there will generally be um, one or, or two days a week when you don't work um, or if you do work there's a choice and you're paid um, overtime for example. There's no holiday leave um, and uh, th there might be just too much of a demoralisation on the part of the traffic victims um, even to um, have the ability to know or to ask um, for leave or um, days off away from work, um, say to rest and relax. So um, in that case there were five defendants, family members, and they were convicted of um, conspiracy, which is um, it's a, a, an agreement, an offence at, at common law to require um, a person to um, perform forced or compulsory labour. So what the judge during the course of the trial um, said, he directed the jury um, to um, basically uh, look um, at what uh, servitude was and whether it could be established. And what the court must actually find is that what, in respect of the workers themselves, that it's actually impossible for the workers themselves to change their own status. And that seems to be the key in the domestic case law um, all around what is forced labour, is that the worker themselves um, either because of the situation they're in or because they're so demoralised within themselves that they basically they don't have the ability 
to walk away and change their status and that is the key which tends to um, distinguish between people who are working not in a forced situation whilst not everyone's happy in their jobs um, that obviously isn't enough it, the, the key is that that the individuals who are trafficked um, have to basically have a complete inability to change the yeah. status that they're in yeah thank you very much lane doshok amara sunchen barista lim townly european court of justice said bibhinna amar example case example diye amar explain korche aaj amader shomoy pray shesh hoye geche ajker program ti abar punoprochar kora hobe next tuesday dupur sara bata theke duta tasara ntv europe er facebook ebong youtube channel eo amara program ta dekhte parben upload kora hobe shobai bhalo thakun shusto thakun ebong sokoler proti amar shubhokamona thaklo assalamu alaikum